Well, my little munchkins, I'm sure you've all done this. What did I? Oh, yeah, I'm sure you've all done this before. You know, I'm a bit of a um, wire wheeler all the time. So, when they mean that when it says a six inch grinder, which this is, and this is the first time for me to change these, what it means is the whole of the outside is six inches. So, it's three inches from there to the outside. So three inches, can you see? So we're going to look for a six inch wheel, which is six inches all the way around. Um, the, this one, the grindstone, as you can see, the guide on the grindstone is pretty well run out. Um, if I run it any shorter, I'd be worried about, about it breaking up or getting weaker or whatever. So we might keep that as a spare or we might put it onto onto another machine but this is due and the reason i know it's due is because look the, the the adjustment there is running out that's pretty close and you can't really get in and around i haven't noticed with the wire brush it hasn't worked worn quite so much on the wire brush but You'd be surprised once that starts going in, you can't get your your stuff in and around quite so much, quite so easy. So um, yeah, we're gonna go and replace these two today. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what I get and, and how much it cost me. So I suspected one goes one way, one goes the other. Take off whichever comes off easiest. In this time, in this particular instance, it was this one. So this one unscrewed nice and easy, took the brush off. Um, then this one was an opposite thread, didn't want to didn't want to do messing and playing with it. So these, they've really done half grip, you know. I think I bought them in some show. You know, I love people selling me stuff. I think I bought them in a show somewhere uh, as a set. So there's that one. There's a big one. Um, there's like a middle one. And then there's a baby one. Oh! And they're not so... They're a finer tooth. So they're not as damaging as, say, a mole grips or pipe grips or something. It's quite a fine, fine set of teeth. And they work really well. It's one of these ones that, you know the harder you pull, the tighter it gets. So it's a really handy set. I use them quite a few times and you can push them on and clip them. You know what I mean? You don't got no adjustment or nothing like that. Once it gets a grip, it tightens itself up. So I find them very useful. So anyway, let's uh, go off and get a new stone and a new brush. And then we can there's no, there's very little bite marks on that. Um, pretty good, really, for a tight. And this was the opposite. So that's righty tighty, lefty loosey. This one is lefty loosey, righty tight. No, right, lefty tighty. This is opposite. Okay. But this is standard. This side, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Let's go and get these then. So the stone had a little centre. This had a big centre, but it's got them, uh, can you see inside, the plastic shims that sit inside them. So that's no big deal. So I can either buy a little centre or a big centre, whatever, whatever they've got available in the shop. I can take that with me. What I'll do is I'll take these with me. But you can see how this one has reduced by quite a bit, stone has. Um, and the workable face for this had gone. So let's go and get those changed. See what the new ones look like. So, been to get it. Always when you do this thing, you don't need to do it in the shop, but when you bring it back, you can, uh, when you bring it back to the car, you can always just take the old one with you and just double check it against it. And this has got these shims anyway. So there's no, there's no bother. This will fit one, two, three, four, five sizes of, Thing, so it's going to be just fine this one um, 
but I was going to tell you, consumables like this, if if you're out here buying them, you, you know you if you listen if you're watching YouTube, you're watching the doom gloomers, the glo doomy gloomers that say things. So if if what they say doesn't come true, then fine. But what if they if what they say comes true and it does come, if you're buying consumables, buy double the amount, get twice as much. And on that thing, I was going to buy two of them, and they only had one in stock, so I bought the last one. So, hmm, are things running out? Are the doomsayers coming true? So if you can and you're getting consumables by twice as much uh, because things might be running out might be so i've been to screw fix so now i've gone around the corner and now i'm in tool station see what uh, what they've got in so i'm following my own advice i've got one wheel out of screw fix and one wheel out of tool station again no grinding stone no grinding stone available. Hmm. So I better hunt down a couple of stones before they disappear altogether. So I <laughs> followed my own advice. I've got one there and I've got one in here. This is the old one. So I've got two. So I've got plenty of a supply at the moment. But yeah. So here's the thing. So if you listen to the doom and the gloomers, everything's going to run out. Um, so if they let's say if they're right, they're right, you know, and that's it. But if they're wrong, well, I've um, if they're wrong, I've uh, I've I've inflation proofed myself because look at this four ninety five, as cheap as you'll get it anywhere. Uh, so uh, again, once I've used one up, uh, it could be a good few years, and then you've got the other one. So if you buy two. And the doom and gloomers aren't correct, and the whole world isn't going to blow up. Well, at least you've inflation proofed yourself because, as I as I'm going, to, I'll show you in one of my films, death taxes and inflation. It's the only thing, three things you can rely on in life. We've in, we've replaced the grinding stone, and we've uh, replaced the wire brush, mm. and we've got two in the stores, two um inflation proof ourselves, and should we want to change them we've got another set willing ready and able in the stores and we've still got this old one but we won't throw them away we'll just keep them for a rainy day we never know when you need them but uh yeah so that's a little job done so i've put the new uh Wheel on. Wow! I'm going to show you a quick transformation on a uh, old-fashioned soldering iron. Oops! Go on. I've, I've made a cock up of that, haven't I? Hold on. How can you be? I want one of these. I'm quite rare to get a domed washer. How can you be so close and yet so far? It's a domed washer. You're lucky to even find another domed washer. So I found a domed washer. It's not quite the right size. And the center isn't the same size. Damn! How can you be so close and find a domed washer, but it's not the domed washer that you're looking for? Hmm, the washer, the washer gods are playing, playing games on me today. So, <laughs> the brush is catching on the casing. Um, so I've spaced it out. It's only just got a grip, so that nut might come flying, but it's tightening all the time. So I'm hoping it's just enough to get a bit of wear on this so I can get it in there. So uh, let's try again. So here we are, look. This is what a wire brush can do for you. And stand back, because that nut might go flying. Um, this is what you can do with a... Uh... Come on, here we go. Ooh, watch out for that nut. Yeah, you've just got to press very gently. And look what a wire brush can do for you. 
Um, here's a before. Here's a before look. And here's an after. Ooh. Don't push too hard. I just want to wear that down a little bit. Because, um, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. So there's an after and there's a before. Let's do come down here a little bit. I'm standing this side because I'm expecting any minute now for that nut to go flying off. I just want to wear a bit of it away so that I can get into it. Yeah. Just gently do it. Just gently touch it. It's fair enough, it's going round at a hell of a speed. Yeah. And you're just fine. There you are, look. You just gently put that on it. It won't take me long to wear down the front of that. Um, yeah. Or I might even wear, wear the edge down like this. So that I can turn the wheel around and then put it inside the casing. Yeah. So I might just work on the one edge, just gently, just come up to it and touch it. And as you can see, you know, I like to show you, oh, come on. I like to show you live and at the scene. Yeah, live and at the scene, I've cocked that up. Don't stand in the front of that nut whilst it's spinning. Um, we've got one more to do, keep going. We've got one more to do. Here's a uh, here's a before. Can you see? There's an after. <laughs> a before and an after. So uh, let's do this next stage now. Can you see it coming? Can you see it coming? Look, one, two. Let's do this one. We are on record, aren't we? Yeah, we're on record. So what we'll do, we'll go over to the stone now and we'll just trim that point a bit. And again, the stone is still new, so it's very rough. It wants just settling in, you know. There's the edge. It's a bit this edge here. This is fine. That's fine. This needs a bit more attention than it. Let's give that a bit more attention. We're gently a bit up to it, slowly touching it. Let's gently get up to it, look. Come on, come on. Here we are, look. I'm expecting that nut to come flying off. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a better job. But all I have to do is wear it down a bit. And that's happening already. Yeah. It looks like... Oh, look. It's melted the plastic washer, but I've got another one anyway. Mm. 
But anyway, hmm, that wheel's about to come off. Oh, let's just, yeah, let's just kill it. So what was two ugly, no, uh, three ugly iron, uh, 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 soldering irons are now three beautiful soldering irons. I have to change a plan on that because it's it's melted the shoulder of the brush. I had this behind it. It wasn't too wobbly. It was fairly balanced. I need to bring that out a bit more. Squish that in. But hopefully that should have worn down a little bit. But what it's doing is catching on the inside of the damn uh, of the damn framing, and there's not a lot I can do about it. I can move this, which I had done. She was doing it, catching on the inside, just enough to foul it, just enough to foul it. So, hmm, I might even have to take a, put it back on, use a grinding wheel and grind the end of this face off. But actually, it seems to have worn that edge just slightly. Take the roughness off. It might spin round in there. So that's all we want to do is to get it started to spin, don't we? Hmm, but anyway, that's a problem for another day. A recap and have a quick look at these cupboards. Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Here we are. We've got a few files and a few of the old uh, screwdrivers in that one. I don't think there's nothing in there, no. That's nothing. No, we haven't come this far up. These are still spare ones. Yeah, so we're going this way. Up there, no. 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 <laughs> yeah. We put the, um, we've just cleaned up those soldering irons, haven't we? So we put the soldering irons here, that homemade screwdriver. Yeah, and there. Ah, we put the box spanners in, haven't we? A few more box spanners to add in, but put the back spanners and you see um, Elliot Lucas, this, can you see it? That's an Elliot Lucas. So we put the little Elliot Lucas little pliers to go with them, two Elliot Lucases together and we threw that one in here. Another screwdriver, an oldest type pliers there. A saw set. I looked at this. That's a Wilkinson tools. Look, mm, made in England. Anyway, so we've got those there. A few more screwdrivers. What have we got in here? Oh, nothing in there. Right. We know there's nothing in there. We sealed that off because that's giving us trouble. Um, we put a few of the spanners in here. Cleaned them up. Put them in this collection of spanners. These are these um, blue points, look, before snap-on them. Um, and I think there's one more somewhere. Mm, what was in here? Oh yeah, these bodgers. Yeah, hardly used these bodgers. But there's a whole set of bodgers in here. Hmm, yeah. Uh, what was in here? Oh, F-wrenches. I put the two F-wrenches in here. Look, that one and that one. Give them a bit of a clean. And of course, there's a there's teeth missing off that one. But these, that's the F range drawer. Uh, slightly bigger spanners here. We put some there, didn't we? And these are mixed, I think. What's in there? That was Godot in there. One's in there. And this, this was the mixed. I haven't got enough to make a collection of one thing, but the mixed ones are in there of the more newer spanners, you know, nothing in there. A couple of bodgers, a couple of more spanners. I put a few other, other spanners in there. Um, snail brand, you see? A couple of snail brand bodgers in here. What was this? That was a, another one, a Birmingham one. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, snail. This we put the snail spanners in here, didn't we? Snail brand and a Garrington. Uh, remember the axe? We put the axe in there. Uh, what do we put here? Oh yeah, Eagle brand is in here. 
and super slim. We had one super slim. So we've got super slims there and a few of the older type. Um, and these are Eagle Blend as well. So then, oh, the knives, yeah, that we've got ready to for when the next plan comes along. And remember, I bought a whole box of screwdrivers, didn't I? So there's a whole box of screwdrivers there to be messed with whenever. What was in here? Gordon. Ah, Sheffield. Oh, Gordon. We've got a big Gordon, haven't we? We've got to bring that big Gordon out here. Yeah, we've got the Gordon in there. Uh, King Dick in there, look. Yep, let's go back up here. Nothing in there. Oh, yeah, there might be. No. Stretcher in there, maybe. And the Godot. Is it the Godot? What were these called? Um, uh, what were these? Are these... For, there's a, these are the good ones. I can't remember what's the name on these good ones now. Drop fours, yeah. Hmm. There was, there is. There might be some more somewhere else. Hmm, we'll have a look. Anyway, they were in here. Yeah. What do we put in there? Nothing in there. What's in here? Ah, oh, these are the ones. Gilbo. That's the one. Sheffield Gilbo. Yeah. I, wonder, I thought there was a Gilbo somewhere. Hmm. So there's a couple of spanners in there. Um, a couple of bigger spanners. Brittle. The bigger Brittle spanners are in there. Mm. And again, look, this is... That's, um... That's a draper. And what's in here? A load of brittle. Yeah, another load of brittles in there. Yeah, so Woo! We've done a we've done a good review of that now, haven't we? And just general rubbish in the others. Um, I've got to work my way to it. So just a quick news flash. Why are we outside why are we a look? 150 mil. In screw fix I paid $8.99. I bought the one out of tool station for $6.99. Um I said could I have a book? This is the book, it's not even out yet. It's two weeks. This book only comes into affection into effect in about two weeks, she said. And in the book, um and yeah, no. oh, a wire wheel look is seven ninety nine, and I've just paid six ninety nine. So inflation is coming. Inflation. Well, we know it's already here, but the problem you've got is nobody's making a hell of a lot of money out of that. So who's going to bother? That's the thing. Uh, when everybody was buying lots of everything. It was possibly worth their while, but once these run out and nobody could be bothered to replace them with, with other ones, with another batch or whatever, nobody's making a hell of a lot of money out of it. Um, things, stupid things like consumables are going to run out. Mm.